has the first person who'll live to 1000 already been born? That's what some experts believe. And a new book by a top professor reveals there's good news for the rest of us. Professor Rudy Westendorp has predicted the first person to live to 135 has been born, but other scientists have gone further and declared that we have already seen the birth of the first person who will live to 1000. The do's and don'ts for a longer life. Do complain more. It is well known that women live longer on average than men and some researchers claim this is because they are better at visiting their doctor and voicing any concerns about their health, rather than sticking their heads in the sand. Do reduce your risk of dementia. Not smoking, not being overweight and taking sufficient exercise keep your heart and blood vessels healthy for longer and all that is good for your brain, too. Get your blood pressure checked, since it's important in middle age that it's not too high. Raised blood pressure can damage the tiny blood vessels in the brain, causing a rapid increase in memory problems. Don't rely on supplements. One of the most popular theories about aging concerns the damage caused to the tissues in our bodies by rogue molecules known as free radicals the byproduct of the conversion of food into energy, and also the result of pollution, radiation, and smoking. Our immune system neutralizes these free radicals using antioxidant nutrients such as vitamins A and C, and the theory is that a diet high in such antioxidants will help you hold back the years. In fact, though there is no doubt among scientists that free radicals harm the body, there is no hard proof that aging is caused simply by a lack of sufficient antioxidants in our bodies or our food. Don't starve yourself. Another theory growing in popularity holds that we can stay alive longer by eating less. This is based on experiments conducted in the 30s, which concluded that mice live longer when fed 30 pc fewer calories. Though the beneficial effect has since been found in other species, including fruit flies, what we really want to know is how this applies to humans. The answer may be found in long-term experiments in the US using rhesus monkeys, which are closely related to us in evolutionary terms. Monkeys that have had a calorie-restricted diet over a long period of time look younger in appearance, have more energy and are less likely to develop diseases typical of aging, such as diabetes. However, though the aging process is slower in those animals, monkeys on the calorie restriction regimen do not appear to live demonstrably longer.